Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this throne room Tuesday where we put something in the throne room. <clears throat> well, I put something in the throne room soliciting your prayers. Okay, so today we will be putting in the throne room resentment. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to deal with some portion of resentment for the rest of the week. Okay, so my name is Sheila Rollins and I am the founder of Sheila Ministries Entertainment and Associates Inc. And on this YouTube, we are overcomers and knowledge. We support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our wholeness, our cleanliness, our completeness, our forgiveness, those things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Jesus Christ being a higher power. However, in order to get all that he's offering, we need to be obedient to his word. And I encourage the King James Version because it's what he encouraged me. The Ten Commandments, including the Fourth Commandments, where he admonishes us to keep the seventh day Sabbath. These things are binding on us for eternal life. The arrow next to the title is a description. And all this information will be in there. So, okay. So, I have about three different definitions of resentment. I have the Oxford Dictionary, Wikipedia, and WebM WebMD. And so far, WebMD gave me the most information. So, okay. So, um, I thought to talk about resentment because it's something that I'm bad one with. And today in my research um, class or meeting, um, it was presented and I thought it was excellent. I felt a little bit like put upon like, okay, who told you that I needed this teaching? It was great. Okay. So however, the Lord got my mind spinning and everything. And so I said, okay, you know what? I can add to what she said. And so basically it's what I did because like I said, I'm battling with this and I've been battling it for a long, for a long time. And I have to admit though, because I asked y'all to pray for, for me for a while ago. Check out my other uh, video on like forgiveness. Okay. Cause it's kind of sort of like the same thing, same pretty much techniques to help out, um, with recovery. Um, but anyway, I feel about just much better. I wish that I could say this much better or that it was going, okay? But it's coming. So I thought that it would be good to basically um, turn it into a positive thing. Positive in that I can use it to help you. And perhaps possibly whatever that you can add to it, you can add to the comments section to help me. Okay. And whoever that may read the comments. Okay. So, um, you want to, you will want to subscribe. We're going fast. I believe that this is 44. I believe it is number 44 of the 90 day destiny transformation where we are starving our past and our history, taking hold of the life that Christ died for us to have. Okay. And also basically pursuing our purpose and our passion. You know, the one that before we were created, God sanctified us and he also, also ordained us for it. Okay. So resentment, you know, it's hard not to be left with resentment in some area after being raised here on this earth and after this earthly experience. Okay. So I'm sharing this because I need to get loose from it. And I'm sure that I have a Siamese twin, a brother, sister, cousin, you know, a love sister and brother out there that may need the same. So, so let's just define it today. And so join me tomorrow where I'll talk about treatment. I'll talk about what the presenter talked about today. And I may talk about what, what I added to it. And then Thursday being relationship Thursday, I'll talk about basically, um, the cause of resentment. Okay. Um, and then Friday, you know, we surrender something. And so for the sake of our health, God and ourselves, you know, we're going to surrender that. Okay. So stay on board. If you haven't, if you haven't, um, subscribe, please do so share to YouTube. 
uh, encourage subscription as you share, okay? Um, and I would really appreciate it. So, okay. So, Wikipedia says that it's a complex, multi-layered emotion that has been described as a mixture of um, um, feelings of disappointment, Discuss, anger, fear, and I add hurt. Okay, I add that. Now, it says also that other psychiatrists or psychologists consider it as a mood or as a, a secondary emotion that can be elicited in the face of insult and or injury, most definitely. Okay, um... Now, remember to check out my other YouTube, it's The Pursuit to Christ, and the playlist on that YouTube, and also this one, which is Shula Ministries Overcomers Anonymous, okay? You will enjoy yourself, so, you know, check that out. So, okay, so, uh, Miriam Webster, she said that resentment is a feeling of indignant displeasure or persistent ill will as something regarded as wrong, insult, or injury, okay? So, so far, like, you know, all these different definitions, I can relate to them. Comment down below if you can relate to it. And if you think about it, give me some thumbs up. If you think thumbs up mean that you like the topic, perhaps you see where you know, it could be fitting in this um, in this particular series and if it's helpful for you, okay? Um, so, okay. Now, this is WebMD. WebMD says that res resentment describes a negative emotion, emotional reaction to being mistreated. Um, there is usually... There is usually no one cause um, to resentment, but most cases involve an underlying sense of being mistreated or wronged by another person, and I add it, or people, okay? Um, now, basically says, when this happens, trust and love in a relationship are broken, Okay, and basically there's a there's a, a different ways that um, resentment is basically expressed. And so basically it says like um, in anger, disappointment, bitterness, hard feelings. Um, and then it says um, feelings of feeling invisible or inadequate, uh, fear, uh, fear or avoidance type of behaviors, um, regret or remorse, and also the inability to stop thinking about the event that caused the resentment. Okay. And so I've experienced in all of that. And so I think that this presentation today was timely in that the Lord knows that I need to get a little bit better at it or possibly completely better at it. Okay. Now, you know that we do what we do because of Jesus Christ being a higher power and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Okay. So remember that you're not alone. No matter how bad this feels, we can invite God into it and ask him to help us. He is our father. Where we are right now in our life is no surprise to God. He called us the things that he ordained us for. He ordained us for before we were created. In other words, he knows the beginning from the end and he knew where we would be even today. So don't be dismayed and it may be hard for me and it may be hard for you, but it is not hard for our father. Okay. So hang in there. And I will like, you know, basically I already gave you one tool, which was basically ask God to help you. 
like I do, okay? And also to breathe, like to tell yourself to relax. And as the days go on, hopefully we'll, we'll all feel a little bit better, you know, while waiting on God to basically transform us to where we'll be completely healed. Now, um, now there's some extra signs given to us by Web, WebMD, and they are uh, the inability to let go or forgive, or at least temporarily. Um, it talks about signs of anger, bitterly, ho bitterness, hostility, um, hard feelings, and also um, uneasiness. Okay, and so basically, if you find that to be helpful, comment down below. Remember to support the YouTube with purchase the, the vegan meat alternatives, non dairy ice cream, and the sides also for the um, um, vegan meat alternatives. Okay, when you support the YouTube that way, you're supporting those that desire to live a life closer to God, more surrendered to God and a more happier life, okay? So basically, that's all I have for you. Remember to join me the rest of the week and forever, okay? I love you, and this is all I have for you. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.